Hi everyone, I am Rajesh Kumar. I am having close to 16 plus years of experience in DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. I have worked with more than 12 software organizations around the globe. I would like to introduce you all a DevOps School's a flagship certification program in DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. Uh, this program will get started in the weekends. Uh, so get involved. Uh, please contact us on the phone number given on the screen. And in fact, you can email us on, on the contact at the rate of DevOps School. So the first thing, what to each data log? That is the things which you need to understand. So data log is a cloud-based monitoring solution, cloud-based. That means if you ask me, Rajesh, can we install the data log server? I would say no, because it's only on, on cloud. So that one work is done. So that is a one thing. Cloud-based monitoring solution now data log will help you why do we need that why we need it so we need it because first thing one of the reason is it's very popular okay uh, it's very easy to use very easy to configure you know easy to work on it user is uh, the website is very flawless actually easy to set up alerts easy to set up a dashboard so many things but if i put it up all these things into word word that we call it observability that means if you want to set up observability then we we do that we use some of the tools like a data okay so now next questions you will say what is the observability means here so when i say observability uh, you want to set up observability for your project so in that case, you want to collect the matrices. We call it infra monitoring. All these kind of met, uh, infrastructure monitoring you want to do. So you collect the matrices. Then you collect the logs also. And then you click, collect the trace also. Trace also. And then synthetic also. Trace, I think, will be in synthetic. Only. So all this information, you want to trace it. You want to collect it. And top of that, you want to have alerts and dashboard. Okay. So that is something which you have. Okay, so these are the things which we have in observability. So observability is a process in which you monitor the infrastructure, you monitor the logs, you monitor the traces, different types of traces again we have and set up alerts and set up a dashboard that means at a one place you should see everything and that one place is your data are you understanding all of you yes okay so using datadog we will do infra log trace alert and dashboard today okay so how do we get started so simple free trial account is available so if you go to the datadog website okay and here you see get started free okay now here you have to select the which reason you want to store the data because the cloud-based solution right so i'll go for the us1 okay us1 is a default region you can go for the other regions as per your requirement for the data storage and your email address so i'll just name it uh, this one your name rajesh kumar company devops school password something and then sign up very simple so now we got the sign up now here you have you've been asked like okay what you want to monitor look at this so much of solution you don't have to you know this selection will not Im impact your you know internal stuff select whatever you want to and then how many servers you are having and next so now here install the agent so what is agent so understand this way very simple way. ms pin and in one go only i will talk about every kind of agent in detail okay so here this is your server okay this is your server and this is your datadog website which is a cloud and let me draw here 
and this is you somewhere this is you okay so here this is you and you will access the data dog this is the data dog website data dog web okay cloud based and then now this is the server so what kind of data you want so you want infra data so for that infra data you need to you need to install dd agent agent here you will have and that you that you will get it infra data infra data okay now infra data you need for that you need to install agent at the server and if you want the log then also this infra agent will help you yeah log monitoring also this agent will help you. so this agent is for the dual purpose log you will also get it infra also you get it infra means cpu ram storage networks all this thing log means application log or system logs logs from reading the logs file or something from location are you able to understand that so agent will collect all this infra and log data and send it to the data dog and from data dog you can visualize and for alerting and dashboard are you understanding yeah yes now the question is how do how about this trace how will you collect the trace so trace let's understand in this way so let's say this is a jvm then this is a tomcat and this is your applications so if i want to have a trace that means this end user is creating a traffic on this one end user means your customer and they will hit on the tomcat so we need to ask this information from the tomcat hey tomcat tell me where how many requests you got it for each request how much of time you spend to process it and for each request which are the java files class file method lines this that and all you should have used it so i'm going to ask tomcat this is a tomcat okay i'll change the color little bit of it tomcat so how do we do that so here you install the apm agent what we call it apm application performance management agent so where we install it this this agent and this agent is different don't get confused this is the infra agent which is installed at os level and which will help you to monitor the capture <coughs> sorry which will help you to monitor the logs and infra but this agent is different this agent is nothing but the code i repeat this is this agent is nothing but the code which is embedded in the tomcat itself and this agent is reading a tomcat and gathering all the information about the all the traffic and this trace information sent to the agent again this infra agent and this infra agent again will send it to you so that's way all the data you get it from the system log infra and traces and then after that once you have a data at the data dog website you create alerts and dashboard are you understanding all of you hello yes so, uh, yeah, rajesh yes. This, this is not saying that once in microservices one service we have a upstream service then we have a downstream service and when they call each other that's become a trace uh, what request and ah, parameters so, ah, so is that called. that that you can gather only if this is running in your each microservices okay got it and what yes. happens there is a concept called open uh, distributed monitoring open tracing okay. yes so that is little different here i mean open tracing and distributed monitoring is supported by data dog also but that is at the very complex uh, advanced level i'll not complicate this discussion right now getting okay. in that case what yeah. happens you have a clusters of kubernetes hundreds of microservices running each microservices you have enabled the open tracing and each traces itself has certain context id event id tags and all and from that you will get to know all this information correct now yeah. yes so right now that i'm not because people wants to get started with the data dog first okay. okay so so this is something which we have to do so what do we do in this case 
So first thing I need a one machine infra. So how do we get it? So let's go and get a template and clone. And I think do we have data doc September? I'll delete this because I don't this again. I'm showing you from scratch, so you'll understand. Clone data doc. Let's do one thing. Uh, let's use the cloud itself because you know what? Cloud uh, will be a little faster uh, for uh, demo because I don't want to wait actually. Let's have some time over there. Let's create one machines on AWS itself. So right now, let's go for and creating one machine. So EC2 and launch instance. Uh, one of the machines I'll go for. Let's go for one two. Data dog and data dog. We are Ubuntu 22, some latest family and t2 micro and all that's okay key i need it and which one i should go for it let's create a new one because i'm not able to recall demo create and security group default which has no restriction as such and everything should be okay launch so this machines will save some time. Here it is. Now this is the machines which you got. Going to first, as per the discussion, installing this agent. How? I show you this. Very easy actually. So go for download here demo.pen I'll keep it uh, one directory here here so now I'll go for uh, bash And here SSH FNI demo.rp and the IP address is this one. Ubuntu username manually, Ubuntu and data paste it. And yes. Okay, so now I'll become a sudo. You know that this is a very bad habit I'm having. I don't use the sudo. So now, first thing what I'll do, I'll install the agent. So what to do? Uh, come to the Datadog website. What kind of agent you want to install? Windows, Mac, Debian, Ubuntu, Amazon, Lambda. Lambda is not agent, by the way, it's uh, API call, CentOS and all. And after that, if you want to automate uh, that in using Chef, a Puppet, and Sybil Salt, these are the one. If you want to install the agent, which is a pod based, container based, so you can use this one. So right now I have Ubuntu, which is here. And you see this command. And here you will copy this whole things and just run it simply. That's all. So this command which you are running, install agent, it's perfectly fine. Now, meanwhile, that agent is being installed. You know what? So many so, uh, tutorials I've written on Datadog. So many. Any questions you have, step by step tutorials, you will have it. For example, see here for the Kafka. This is for the log PowerShell. This is for the MySQL monitoring. This is for the log collections. This is for the API. This is for the Tomcat. This is for the some events. This is for the some simplified data. This is for agent removal. This is for the traces, SIM, profilers. You know, so so many tutorials you'll have it. Okay, Docker, Nginx, 
Apache log analysis and many more. So hundreds of tutorials which I have written, you can use it. Now let's say one of the search which I'll, I'll find it are like this. If you would have any issues with our channel membership, you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries. We will reply to them at the earliest. Thanks for watching.